And I think we can go ahead and get started. Like I said, it's week four. I can't believe we're here already. It feels like we just began, but we didn't. We're actually on week four. So, yes. Asa, you can take it away. Thank you, Snick. Well, happy fourth lesson of group piano, everybody. I am wearing a warm top. But notice, if I ever run out of notes on paper, I just grab what's on my sleeve or shirt anywhere. So hope it's nice and warm where you are. I know one way to warm up everybody's heart and soul is playing some music. So that's what we're here to do. But of course, we've got to start with a corny joke. So what does a skipper eat for breakfast? What does a skipper eat for breakfast? Captain Crunch. <laughs> so. Today, we want to make sure we remember our little piece. Your finger chart, just review which color is right hand, red, and left hand is green, of course. So just remember that in your copies, that helps with what we're going to do with our hands. So a little bit of visual review of some stuff we talked about before. When I'm reading notes on the staff the five lines four spaces remember if we see this shape this is called skip to skip and that means i'm going to leave out a key in between and if i do this where we have them on the lines this is also a skip if i do a pattern like this in music line space line that's playing key beside key or if i do this space line space and if we see notes that are like this, these are called repeated notes. So those are line notes repeated, and these would be space notes repeated, okay? So just some visual things to talk about there. And I wanted to help you with our alphabet. Remember, it's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Only seven letters in our musical alphabet. So for today, I thought one of the first ones we would learn where it is on the keys is our C key. So if we look where our two black friends are and we go to the left, so here's my two black friends, we go to the left, we find the C. So anywhere I do that, I find the C, okay? If I look at my three black friends and I go to the left, I'm gonna find the F key. So three black keys going to the left, that's where we find F. And the other one we want to reference today, there'll be two more, is this one. This is to the right of the two black keys. That's gonna be key letter named E. So to the right of the two black keys, we find E. And our fourth, key I just wanted to share with you today is to the right of the three black keys and that's our B key up here okay so what we showed you today is going to the left of the two black keys C to the right of the two black keys is E going to the left of the three black keys is F and going to the right is B wonderful 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 so as you can see here, I have my trusty Kleenex to roll my hand up into a nice little ball because we want, as this is going on to the keys, we want my shape to be curved. Don't want flat pancake, we would like curved shape. And if you don't like using the Kleenex, remember a paper towel does the trick too. Or if you have a small ball of any kind, or you have a tangelo or an orange or even an apple, okay? This is the hand shape we want as we're doing our songs. So to warm up your fingers for today, we'd like to do our black key smashes and then also the variation. And I sent that out uh, to Nick. So if you don't get it, you'll get it afterwards. So the black key smashes is where we have our fingers one and two. Remember, we wanna have the curve shape we were just talking about. So if I take my right hand, I'm going to curve the two. Here it is from the side view. And now I'm going to play my key smashes once I move my flashcards here. So to the left, we're going low to where Mr. 
Bunny, Kevin Bear. Besides, and then we have Smash Bunny, Smash Bunny, Hop, Smash Bunny, Smash Bunny, Hop, Smash Bunny, Hop, Smash Bunny, Hop, Smash Bunny, Hop. Back down. Smash bunny hop, 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 smash bunny hop. And now we're going to do the left hand. So I'm going to curve my pointer finger, use my thumb, okay? And we're going to go up high to where Mozart mouse resides. Here we are up here, ready? And smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny Smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Back up, please. Smash bunny hop, 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 smash bunny hop. Now we'd like to do the variation where I'm rocking my wrist like I'm turning or taking a lid off of something. So I'm gonna go one, two, one, two, one with my right hand. Here we go, down on the low end of the keyboard. Two, ready, and one, two, one, two, one, smash bunny hop. One, two, one, two, one, bunny hop bounce. 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 And now we're gonna go back down. Ready, set. One, two, one, two, one. Going down. One, two, two. Bunny hop bounce. 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 And now it's time for the variation. So two, again, curving it, playing here on what we call the finger tip. Back here is the finger pad when we do this. We don't have as much control. I want to play on the fingertip. Okay, so here we go. Left hand up high. Start with finger two first, please. And here we go. Two one two one two bunny hop. 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 Two, one, two, one, two, bunny hop. Now we're gonna go back up. Two, one, two, one, two, bunny hop. 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 So that's the blackie smashes and then their variations. So. I guess that leads us to our three black key smashes. So again, it looks like that, if you have your papers with you. So we're gonna take thumb and we're gonna curve Mr. Two and Mr. Three. Curve shape, not that you can see your fingernails. So this is flat. And when you look down, you'd see the top of your fingernails. We wanna do it this way, cause then I just see my knuckle when I'm looking down. So black key smashes. Fingers warmed up. One, two, three, three black keys. One, two, ready, go. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Flash card, stay put or move. Here we go. Sorry about that. Smash bunny hop going down, everybody. Smash bunny hop, smash, smash bunny hop, smash. Smash, smash bunny hop. Very good. Now let's try our left hand, curving the three, tall man, two pointer and thumb. This is our position. Ready? Up high we go. Three, two, one. Ready? Play. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. Back up. Smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop, smash bunny, smash bunny hop, smash bunny hop. So that's up and down vertical. Now we're going to do our rolling to the right and rolling to our left, the variation. One, two, three, two, one. 
again, our favorite number of counting five. So right hand, here we go. On top of the three black keys, and you see how I'm rolling my wrist? That's what we're after. One, two, ready, and one, two, three, two, one. And we do our bunny hop. One, two, three, two, bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one, 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 bunny hop. Now we're gonna go down. Ready, set. One, two, three, two, one, bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one, bunny hop. Can you count to five? Keep going, bunny. One, two, three, two, one. Ready, and one, two, three, two, one, bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one, bunny hop. One, two, three, two, one. Great. And remember, if you don't have all the keys that I do, that's the UK. And the other thing you can do is just do this on a flat surface, on your desk, wherever you're at, countertop. And sometimes I'll even do this when I'm stuck in traffic. I do it right on top of my kneecap. And it's a way to maybe not get too upset about being stuck there. So now we're going to do the left hand. Three, two, one, two, three. Okay. Three, two, one, two, three. Going down. Three, two, one, two, three. Going down. One, two, three. Bunny hop. Three, two, one, two, three, 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 bunny hop. So notice if you can see my watch in the view of the camera. See when I'm going three, two, one, you can see the face of the watch and then it disappears. So that's how much I'm doing my wrist roll. So now we're gonna go back up, please. Two, ready. <laughs> Three, two, one, two, three, bunny hop bounce. 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 Last one. Three, two, one, two, three. Very good. Hope everybody. Great success with that. And we're just getting your wrist all. <clears throat> so, the next hey, thing we like to. Hey, what? You, um, sorry to interrupt for a sec, but you accidentally uh, turned your video off. Can you uh -oh. go ahead and bring that back up? <laughs> ah, there I am. Sorry. There you are. Thank you. I think I did a scroll. It happened when, that. after you were done with the black keys. Okay. So, we saw cool. everything. It was just when you were transitioning off. Cool. Anyway, thanks continue. so much for keeping me honest. <laughs> so next one is Lamb Song. Three black keys, right hand. So this copy I have has the words and the fingers just to help everybody out. So here I'm going to go down on my finger. So let's see. Nick said if I did this, you could see my fingers pretty well. So we're going to see if that holds true. Okay, does that work okay? Can you go down like one octave or angle it down just a hair? It's a little high. Oh, okay, that's probably better. This one's better? I just wanna make sure I don't tip it. Yep. If I tip it, it's bad news for Clarence. Okay. Yep, much better. Okay. So three, two, one are the fingers I'm using. Four's on vacation. Pinky is going to be on the first of the two black keys. So here I'm ready to go. And it's always good sometimes with a free hand or if you've got a parent nearby, they can point along to the numbers so you don't get lost. So one, two, ready. Mary had a little lamb. Hold, little lamb. Next line. Little lamb. Hold. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And then I'm going to 
to go a little lower to my left towards Beethoven, Baron Clarence. And we're going to try the same thing again. One, two, ready, and. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was white as snow. And remember, depending on your keyboard or your piano, you have more positions you could play that in for fun. Okay, the next thing I have up is my rhythm sheets. So what I like to do is put my rhythm key on the left side of my music graph area. And then I have my sheets on the right side. So just in case it's a Saturday sleepy day, I can go back and reference anything. So we wanna just go down the key one time for a quick review. And if you like the symbols better, you're on the left side. If you like the vertical lines, you go on the right side of the sheet. And here we go, how to clap them. Two, ready, and whole note for beats. Next one down, two, woo, we, followed by two, woo. Then we have blue, and then we got jello. Okay, so there's my rhythm key in case I need it. And now I have my rhythm sheets. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, and then the continued page. So if you just make sure you have those up, that'd be great. So maybe warm up your fingers a little bit in case it's cold where you are. All my students last night I called <laughs> were bundled up. So here we go, number one and Two woo, blue, 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 two woo, yellow, 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 two woo. Now, number two, we start with that whole note for beat. Two, ready, and whole note for beat. Two woo, we, blue, 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 yellow, blue, yellow, whole note for beats. Number three, with the vertical lines, two, ready, and whole note, four, beat, two, woo, we, blue, 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 yellow, blue, yellow, whole note, four, beats. And now it's time for number four, the last one on our first sheet. Two, ready, and two, woo, blue, 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 two, woo, yellow. Yellow, 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 two, woo. Now I'm gonna take that sheet away and move on to our rhythm sheet continued, number five. And remember what I've said before, the more black we're starting to see on a page of music, the quicker our rhythm will start to get. So here's number five, two, ready, and blue, yellow, blue, blue two, woo, yellow, yellow, blue. And just remember, I have my elbows here in front of my body, not at my side, so I'm not stiff and tight, and my arms are extended towards the keys. Number six, two, ready, <coughs> two, woo, we, blue, 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 two, two, woo, blue, 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 two, woo, we. Number seven is up next. Two, ready, and two, woo, we, blue, 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 two, woo, two, woo, blue, 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 two, woo, we. And number eight is our last one. Two, ready, blue, 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 jello, 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 two, woo, jello, blue, blue, two, whole note for beats. Good job, everybody. And of course, every time you do that, this just starts to get a little easier and easier. But you want to make sure your wrists are relaxed. That's why we did all the Black Key Smash warm ups. So, what I would like to do next is review. If you have your pencil or if you have a pen, we're going to do how we figure out our hand position for the chords. 
So the pencil goes on top of my pinky, threads through Mr. Four, three is down, we lift up Mr. Two, and thumb is underneath, okay? Pinky is going to go to that key I showed you earlier, the C key, which is to the left of the two black keys. So here's my two black keys. I'm going to the left. There's Mr. Five. I put three down and thumb. So now I'm going to pulse it five times, my favorite number for how many times to do an exercise or skill. Two, ready, and one. Ooh. So what I like to say is here is the cover for my keys. I want to make sure my hand's coming up as much as possible. And I said previously, it's like waving to the piano, an old fashioned wave that way. We want to make sure the wrist is coming up and not locking and just moving your arm. That will tire you out after a while. So it's this, relax, big motion. C chord, five more times, two, ready, and a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. Awesome. Then for fun, we moved up four keys. So I went C, then a D, then an E, and then F. So that puts me to the left of my three black keys. That's where Pinky now is at. Three black keys to the left. So I have F, A, C. If you want to know all those letter names. And then we're going to tap it five times. Two, ready, and one, two. Three, four, five. And I'm going to move one key over now to the right, going up. And then now I have GBD. So I'm pinky between the first two black keys in the set of three. Finger three sitting to the right of the three black keys. And thumb is up here between the two black keys. So again, five times. This is our G chord. One, two, ready, and. A one, a two, a three, a four, a five. And then let's step down one key to the left. So pinky goes to the left of the three black keys. Finger three between the second and third black key. And thumb is to the left of the two black keys. That's my F chord. Five times. Two. Ready. And a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. And you're remembering to do this lift, right? Now we go down four, F, E, D, C to where I started. Pinky to the left of the two black keys. Finger three to the right of the two black keys. And thumb sits between the first and second black key in a group of three. C chord again, two, ready, and a one, two, three, four, five. Cool. So we're going to come back to that a little bit later. So keep your pencil or pen handy somewhere and we will get back to it. The next sheet I have up is TP exercise. So as you're looking for that, remember we have thumb on a white key, two sits on top on a black key, and three is gonna be on a white key. So let us do left hand first. So three, two is sitting on top, Thumb is sitting beside three. White, black, white. Now I'm going to turn, put on the keys. I'm going to choose to go finger three to the left of my three black friends, where we learned that's an F key. Two on the black key and thumb here on the next white key. So the pattern is three, two, one. The arrow tells me to lift, come back down, same place, thumb. Two, three, lift and land. Now I count to nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the temptation is going to be that Mr. Two is going to want to flatten out. Try to tell it that you're in charge and you got to play on the fingertip. Okay. So again, we'll do that one more time. One, two, ready, and bottom, middle, top, lift. Top, middle, bottom, lift. Bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom. And now we're going to try the right hand, please. I'm going to put my thumb to the left of the three black keys, F, 
two goes to the black key right beside it. And then three finds the next black key. So here I go with my right hand. Two, ready, and one, two, three, lift. Three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, lift. So if that lift motion is a challenge for anybody, notice I'm using my other hand, or if you have a parent or somebody nearby, you just would grab here and lift it, let it drop down again. So shake it loose if there's any tension. Thumb, two, three, TP. Again, two, here we go. One, two, three, lift. Three, two, one, lift. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, two, one, lift. For any of you that feel ready, now comes the fun. I'm gonna put that together. The only finger that plays at the same time in each hand is gonna be the two on that black accidental key. When I'm playing my three left hand, my right hand thumb is going to be playing. So if I do the piggyback idea, okay, twos match up. And when I'm playing my thumb left hand, I'm playing my tall finger right hand. Okay. So visually, it's looking like this. When I put it on the keys, it looks like this. Three on the F left, thumb on the F right, twos on the black keys, as I said. Thumb left hand is on the next white key and three is on the next white key. So here, I'm gonna do it together, sitting tall and proud. Bottom, middle, top, lift and land. Top, middle, bottom, lift and land. Bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom, middle, top, middle, bottom. If those words help you instead of the numbers, up in my little key area where I have the one and three, you would write bottom. Where I have the two, the top of the TP, that would be our middle. And where I have one and three, that would be the top, bottom, middle, top. Okay, just a little trick if there's any challenge there. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, is farm song. Farm song for the right hand. So, just a little practice before we start the whole song is that bouncing part. So if we chose our animal for the day to be the cow. It's where we go down to the low part of the piano. And we're gonna play the first of the two black keys for the everywhere up. So if you don't have a lot of time, that's always a good thing to practice that skill of bouncing, landing, bunny hop. Okay, opening up my hand using all fingers. Land them on the keys. One and two, the two black group. Three, four, five on the group of three. Here we go. Here's our tempo. One, two, ready. And three, three, three. One, two, two, one. Eight, 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 five, four, four, three. And you hold it. Three, three, three. One, two, two, one. And I hold. Oh. And maybe some of you remember we talked about the duet ending. So I first start the first line three, 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 one, two. Two, one. Now I'm going to play tall man and pinky at the same time for two pulses. And now two and four. And now thumb and three and hold. I call it the duet because it's two keys at once. Two. Okay, let's try that maybe up here, a little higher position before it gets out of the view of the camera. And let's sing the words. Well, one, two, ready. Old MacDonald had a horn, E-I-E-I-O. On his farm, he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With the moon, and the moon, 
everywhere. Old MacDonald had a farm to add three and five, two and four, and thumb three. And our concluding smash. Let's everybody know you're done with the song. And they go, wow, how did you do that? All five fingers at once. All those keys. It's amazing. You'll look wonderful doing it. So green is because we have our friend the bass clap. Just review. Treble clap is the red one. You can see it. And that leads us to our staff page, which is five lines and four spaces. Hopefully you can see that clearly enough. Yep. And then we talked about using our hands in front of our face to help you with our staff. So this is the base clef I'm looking at there. So I'm going to do my lines. Good boys do a fine arithmetic. Spaces, all cows eat grass. Okay, that's my left hand. And then if I want to put it on the keys, we got skip, 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 skip. For the lines, spaces, A, C, E, G. And that, of course, you will be learning more as you will continue your music study, but that gives you the sound of that. Right hand, treble clef. So if I do my lines, it's every good boy deserves fudge and he eats it in his F, A, C, E. Mwah. Right hand human eating, left hand animal eating. Okay, so just a little review on that. My next sheet I have up is the cuckoo song. Cuckoo song. So while you might be finding that, I'm going to go ahead and play it for you. Okay, so I'm putting my hands here. Thumb is a little higher. That's not right in front of me. I'm up a little bit to the right because a bird lives up in the tree. My thumb is going to the left of the two black keys. So the two black keys, here's my thumb. And I get a key for every finger underneath it. One, two, three, four, five. So I start with pinky and it has the hold sign. So I hold it for a little bit. So it goes five, three, five, three, two, one, two, three. Um, five, three, five, three, two, three, two, thumb, and I bowl. Two, two, three, four, two, three, three, four, five, three, five, three, five, three, four, three, two, one. So now, if you don't have your page, hopefully you have it by now. And I'm going to add the words, if anybody likes singing words while they're playing. But everybody else can just go ahead and point with their left hand at the fingering, if that helps you. Okay, starting with pinky. One, two, ready, and. Where are you I'm looking for you. I want to find you. Coo, 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 please come to me. So let's try it one more time. You decide whether you want to do fingering or singing of the words, but I'm going to be playing along so you can hear the tune. And I'm just going to add a left hand because down the road, more confidence to be able to do both hands. So one, two, three, here we go.
So if I'm doing a note in my left hand, at the same time I'm playing a note in my right hand, or E, that's like a duet. And that's my left hand doing harmony, my right hand doing what we're learning here is our melody. So wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, so far, if we go back to our sheet here where you had filled everything in, we've learned about the two woo. We've learned about the whole note four beats, the treble clef, the jello, the two woo wee, the bass clef. So for today, we're just gonna look real quickly at what this looks like. Some people say it's a hashtag, but in music it's called a sharp sign. And this little thing that looks like the letter B, that's called a flat sign. And this I like to call an L normal and then an upside down L or else a box with a little extension each way. That's a natural sign. So if I have what's called in our second column, the flat here, it would be labeled this way, a letter. And then you say the word flat, E flat. It's going to appear on the piano it's gonna be the second black key in the group of two. I hope you can see that that's highlighted right there by my finger. So it would sound like this on the keys. So E we've learned is normally over here to the right of the two black keys. So when I put that flat sign, that little B here, I am going to, when I see this flat sign before the key, I am told, I must go to the left and go lower. So that's what it means to go lower. If I have what we call in the bottom of our first column, a sharp sign here that raises it, makes it go higher. So in this case, I picked the G sharp and G sharp is here. It's the middle of the three black key groups. So normally my G would be right to the right side of the first black key. That's a normal G. When I see that sharp sign, I have to go up to the right, a half step higher. So that's some fun stuff yet to be learned in your musical journey. But I just thought I'd introduce those symbols to you a little bit. So now we're gonna run backwards a little bit and find our lamb song sheet. That would be so good. We do our lamb song sheets. Remembering we're not gonna use, if we're gonna start with the right hand, finger four is on vacation for us. So one, two, three on the three black keys, four on vacation, five is on the first of the two black keys. Here's our tempo. Let's give it a try, two, ready. Now let's try it with the words for a variety. A one, two, ready. Mary had a little man, little man. Little man, Mary had a little man. Its face was white as snow. We'll give that a rest, and now we'll take our left hand, please. And I'm going to put the pinky on the first of the three black keys. Four goes on the second black key. Three on the third black key. Two is somewhere warm, maybe Florida. And thumb is on the first of the two black keys. So you set the position and then we give it a try. Fingers first, two, ready, and three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, 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 three, thumb, thumb, three, four, five, four, three, 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 four, four, three, four, five. Let's try the words in this one, two, one, two, ready. Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb, a little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its face was bright as snow. So if you want to try something wild and crazy, I don't know if you're that type of person, 
But if you think that's too simple and you want to challenge, here it is. I'm going to take my right hand and put it where my left hand just was. I'm going to take my left hand and cross it over and put it where my right hand was. So I look like I'm a twisted puzzle. Oh, pretzel. Pretzel would be it. Yeah, twisted pretzel. But I'm going to do the same fingering I just was doing. So you may want to have your sheets side by side just in case you get lost. But I think you can do this. So right hand where my left had been left hand where my right hand was my elbows are out for freedom and here i go what a crazy one two here i go and not everybody can do that but with practice, you can. The more you practice correctly, the better you become. So hope you enjoyed that fun little experiment. Hope we didn't get tied up in a knot too bad, but that's exciting. So if I am keeping record, we need to try the left hand lamb song. Okay. So five and four go on the two black keys. Three on the first of the group of three. Two on the second of the group of three, thumb on the third in the group of three. So we try the lamb song with our left hand. One, two, ready. Old MacDonald had a farm. On his farm, he had a pig. E I E I O. Using your pinky. Oink, oink, here, honey, hot. Oink, oink, there, honey, everywhere. Oink, 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 oink. Keep your hand there, it's okay. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. So, I'm going to do both hands together. If you're not comfortable with that, just pick a hand to play along while I'm doing both of them. And the only thing to remember is at the end, my duet for my left hand would be three and one, four and two, five and three. So you're going to hear me do all those sounds, but you do what you're comfortable with, okay? I'm just showing you with practice what's possible. And if you can do it with me, wonderful. So I'm laying my fingers out on top of the Two black keys, finger threes are on the first of the group of three, and the remaining keys are up. Sitting tall, proud, elbows out a little bit. I start with my finger threes. That's a good part. One, two, ready. Old MacDonald on his he had a dog. And I'm going to use my pinky left hand and my thumb right hand. Here we go. Open your hands, get the fingers in place. Here we go. Duet time. Three, one left hand, five, three, right hand. E. Four twos each hand. Five three left, thumb three right. And the most fun part, double smash. How do we do? How'd you do? How'd you do? Okay, just worth a fun little experiment. So we had talked a little bit ago about our friend here helping us with chords. So I'm gonna play just a little fun experiment. We had done the C chord. We did moving up four to the F chord and up one for G chord. So I'm gonna play the chords locked as I showed you. Then I'm going to go back through and break them up, which would be one key at a time. And I'm gonna be rolling my wrist in each hand to make that happen. And if I add the pedal, which some of you have on a keyboard, some of you don't, but most pianos, it's the pedal to the right. 
you may have two or three petals down near the floor. We're gonna put my foot, my right foot, on the one on the right. And I push it down whenever I'm gonna press a key and it sustains a sound like this. Look at that magic. I lift my finger, but the sound is sustaining. I lift up that pedal, the sound goes away. The technical thing is there's dampers that then come down and cause the string, if it's a piano, from vibrating. And of course, electronically, we just break the connection and it would stop. So again, we did the block chords of C. And I'm gonna play the C chords. I'm gonna lift my pedal as I move, and then I'm gonna play my F A Cs. One key beside for G's. New pedal because I'm going back down one key to F's. And back home down to C4 down. So that's just a great warm up and it helps your eyes learn where your fingers need to go in between the white and black keys. But now I'm going to make it sound a little fancier, like I'm a harp. Because if you think about a piano, and here I have a seven foot one I'm using, if we turn it, not that it has legs, but we made it come vertical, it almost would resemble a harp. Sort of a cool thing if you think about it. So I'm going to use my pedal, break up those notes in every chord, going from left hand this way up to the right hand. So five, three, one left. One, three, five, right hand. So as I'm going up the keys, that's my pattern. When I'm going to come back down from Mozart mouse towards Beethoven bear, halfway through the piece, it's going to be five, three, one, right hand, and then one, three, five, left hand. So it's just a wonderful thing to do. Sounds great as you do it. I'm going to shift my keys a little bit because I have two stubborn keys that don't want to play today. So this is more the idea and it doesn't have to be exactly what I'm doing. So here's going to be C broken up. I move to F now. The new pedal takes me to G. So that's if I'm doing bomb to top rotation. Now, if I go the opposite way for fun, it would be right hand starting and then the left hand following. So five, three, one, right hand, one, three, five, left hand. And I'm up on my C position chords. That's uh, okay. Let's see if I can tilt this a little bit so you don't lose what I was doing here. It's going to be a test. <laughs> okay. Five, three, one, one, three. Five, three, one. Then I'm going to go down to F. think hmm, which chord do I want to do and if they're out of order that's okay so now I'm going to put a little order to it the C F G and then I'm going to go G F C so the first half is going to be left to right first rotation and the second half is going to be top to rotating right to left so here I go C F Great. 
and I sent out a sheet to Nick uh, with oh, when the saints come marching in. I hope you can maybe find that. That's in the new batch, Nick. Sure. I'll I'll get it up in just one second here. Oh, when the my saints. head's okay. I, I didn't fall. <laughs> it was just the phone. <laughs> that was too much fun. Okay, so let's see if I can reposition this here. So if it helps, boys and girls, go ahead. Okay. There we go. Fantastic. If it helps, remember yeah. to put the pencil in through your fingers. So the green lettering, or when we have lettering, if the color doesn't come up clear, that's going to be my left hand, what chord that I'm playing. And of course, the right hand is going to have the red. The X between the thumb and threes, because we're not playing finger two at that time. When we look down into the third line, we have our jello rhythm because that's where we change and have a little quickness. And the arrows on the side, please remember that means you hold on. So the magic of this is when I'm going, I hold Mr. Five as I tap the C chord. Second line, one C chord. Changing to the G chord. C chord. F chord. C chord. C chord. G chord. Quick change. C chord. If you know the words, here it goes. If you want to just tap up on your piano wooden part near the music stand, that's okay if I do all the work for you. So here we go with the words. Uh, one, two, ready, right hand. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching them see my hands good so here is what it looks like visually and again you can just tap up here if you want to it's a-okay If you master that sheet, I have to share with you something really cool. It's what we did on some of our other songs where we went pencil position. So I make my right hand go down low. So it's going to sound like the guys may be singing it. And then the chords are way up high like that. So here we go for fun. You can either do it this way, right over left or left over right. I don't know which way is better for you. Or you could just do it and get more exercise, whatever makes you happy. So. Here we go. I'm going to do it this way. <laughs> Let the animal marry. Oh, when the saints go marching in, and when the saints go marching in, oh, how I'm going to be in the air. Oh, when the saints go marching in. So if you can't have some fun, don't want to do something else, I guess. But that's a couple of fun things to do. We did the breaking up of the chords a little bit. Chord blocking, three keys at one time, separating it, rolling it this way. And of course, you have to take the pencil out if I didn't share that. I wasn't trying to mess up your fingers at all. 
We did a little breaking up of the chords. We got what we call a harp sound out of the piano or keyboard by pressing that sustain pedal, the one to the right. And if you push it down, when you're pushing the key, they work great together. When you release the pedal, it stops the sustain quality. So what I like to do now is play two little songs just to celebrate our end of our four week time. The first song is from a mu yeah, movie. Um, some of you may know it or not, if you don't, and pandemic stuff is still happening. It's fun to research. It's the Muppet movie, one of the original ones. So this is called The Rainbow Connection. favorite. I played it for you before, I think last week or the week before, but this arrangement is just a little longer. Song of Ada Weiss. And just to tell you the story of, it's a song that helped me go around the world and I played for uh, Sound of Music sing-alongs. And of course, when I traveled on a tour <laughs> into Austria, as we were climbing the hills, this is what was played in the soundtrack of the vehicle. It's hilarious. <laughs> these last four weeks it seems like it's gone so fast i appreciate you so much for your purchase from robert m sides and i hope you had a lot of fun please contact us if you'd like any further lessons and of course flashcards that i've used or wonderful books i've taken some ideas from this is a really great book for older beginners it's the alfred music book so have a fantastic year share music be happy be joyful, spread some joy. All the best. Bye bye. Thank you, Asa. That was great. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> Thanks See you. For all your work. Yep. Stay warm, everybody. <laughs> I have to go build a fire. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>